gosh, it's so hot. I know. Um, hi everyone, real quick. Yes, it's so hot. Let's start, let's just start this. Why um, did dress kind of fall? And I feel like I'm gonna... It's, it's so warm here. And we're so happy because this is coming out on the first, but today is the 29th. Yeah. And apparently, you know, this weekend is going to be cooler in the 80s. But what were we watching last night? I was watching something with Joe and it was snowy. Oh, yeah. And and they just looked really cold. It so looked what was really it? cold. It was um the league. It's I don't even think it's still on, but it's like this show about these um five guys who are in a fantasy football league. And so Joe loves it because he's in like 20 fantasy football leagues, but it takes place in Chicago. And I want to say that they film it in Chicago and it's so cold there. And you can just see like there was no uh, there was no snow on the ground, but everybody was bundled up. And I was like, I don't miss that. I don't miss that. This the so cold that it hurts your face. Yeah. I do, because I've been in Florida for a lot longer than you. I miss the season. Like I miss the I miss fall and I miss, you know, the trees trees changing color and stuff. But anyways, uh, we and we also started off wearing these berets, which are for request. But, but they we were had so to take hot. them off because it was really hot. Um, and so let's go ahead and um, so some of you have gotten the email, you've seen the announcement that, you know, we wanted the Maurice to watch this video. Um, this video will be accessories and clothing. It's going to be super long. We will not be taking on any new Lorenes um, this month and probably not next month either. Um, we actually have had really great luck the last couple of months with clothes, with Sydney and the warehouses and everything. Um, and that's great. But um we, we've been at our cap for Lorene's for months and um, and we've been trying mm -hmm. to, by not taking on new ones, we've been trying to kind of whittle it down. It's like nobody's canceling. We have had current Marie subscribers um, up to the Lorene. So um, we just, we just, we want to keep it low enough that we have plenty of clothes for the Lorene's um, so that they get, you know, we, we can give them the, the best of the best that we have. Um, mm -hmm. But what has happened is since we haven't had anybody really cancel and we really haven't had any new people, we have the same girls with the same measurements, the same preferences, um, all of that. And so we have a lot of items that we want to move out. Um, so we are opening up clothing requests to the Marie's this month. Um, do not subscribe thinking, like do not subscribe to the Marie thinking, oh great, I get clothing now. Um, every single one of the Lorene requests will be filled first. For, yeah. um, and then if there are extra items like let's say like there's like an amazing dress that nobody requested but we know of a Loreen who maybe doesn't watch the request videos who would love that it's going to the Loreen um but again there are going to be it's going to be a lot of clothing requests um we will try our best to give you the the measurements of almost everything um feel free to shoot us your measurements if you want if you're a Marie and you're requesting clothing go ahead and shoot us your measurements um so do not expect clothing but again, we are opening it up because we are just, we're wanting to move out some stuff and we're hoping, mm -hmm. we're hoping that some of the Marie's are really interested in like 70s style shirts. We have a lot of those. Um, there are certain skirts that we have again, um, dresses. Like if, if you're a Marie and you love eighties, um, you're going to be yeah. golden. Um, and as always the accessories are, um, are for everyone, are for everyone. So, um, but that will, it will definitely be this month. And depending on how much we have left again in December, we will potentially do that again in December. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, and requesting items are still the same. So we're going to be posting all of this on the first. So this video and all of the Instagram requests will be posted on the first and um, email us after everything's been posted with your name, um, like your full name and then November requests and then screenshot all of the items that you love and um, put them in one email in from the YouTube video and from Instagram one email and um, and we you know we will go through them requests are mm -hmm. not guaranteed they are not first come first serve um, if you want your box yeah. early then make sure to include charge now in your request yeah um, um, and this is so this is this is a, a random no, November is kind of always a busy month for um for for really for both of us I mean you even more so now that you're living here because um, it is it's my daughter Juliet's birthday and um, we're very big with birthdays in the family so it's a whole weekend that we're celebrating her birthday, like we have family birthday, we have aunt and uncle birthday, and then we have grandparents birthday. So it's three days of, of celebrating. And then I also 
you know, get ready for it. And um, and Karen's taking Juliet for um, one of those days. We're having sleepover her. fun time. Yeah. Um, and um, but we also have um a trip planned. We have a beach trip planned. So um so we're going to try to get as many of the charge nails done as possible. But um we might not be able to. Either way, we're still planning on getting. I think I wanted to say all of the boxes needed. Oh, but you're going to still be here. I will on be the here. The 24th and the 25th. Um, but I leave on the 22nd or the 23rd. I forget. For your trip. Yep. Yeah. Um, so it's two trips, actually, because we have the beach trip, and then we also are going to the mountains a couple days early. So hopefully it'll be cold um, for Thanksgiving we're going. because Joe maybe, and I are staying yeah. here because our dog is getting, yeah. like, shots that need extra attention. Oh, we love him. Mash. We love him. His name is Mashed Potatoes. And he can't get excited, and she's too nervous to leave him with, like, a dog sitter. Well, and I also don't want to put that on, like, our dog yeah. sitter to be like, hey, and so when you go and see him, give him his pills, but then also just be like, hey, Mash, how's it going? Are you doing okay right now? Let's just kind of just can't be cool. Yeah. So we're not going to do that. So we're we're staying local, which means that I can, you know, work on y'all's boxes. Um during that time while that, Sarah's gone. So they'll be they'll be shipped by the 25th, but hopefully yeah. hopefully hopefully earlier. So our goal, usual. our reasoning for sending out the request because if you've been with us for a while, you know that requests in this video typically come out around on the 3rd of the month and we're doing it on the 1st so that y'all who want to do charge nows can send us that email on the 1st and we can just like start going. Um and so if you are watching this and you want a charge now, Please try to just, you know, get a glass of wine and put it everything in this afternoon or tonight mm -hmm. um, because that really helps us out a ton. Um, and again, we'll, we'll try to go as fast as possible, but we will be showing quite a bit of um, clothing. Yeah. Like a lot of, because a lot of it is new and then a lot of it is um, stuff that we need to get rid of. So let's go ahead and start. Oh, the other thing is, away. include your name. Please, please, please make sure you include your name in any kind. Also, this is going forward. Mm -hmm. Any kind of email correspondence because many times your emails aren't anywhere close to your name. And we have sometimes have, it's hard. we it's have hard no to idea. It's hard to by your email address in our system. Um, and another thing is do not reply to any of the newsletters newsletters because um that happens every month and um, your stuff can get lost. We we had like two girls change their addresses by responding to that and um there are several links within yeah the email that you can click on regarding if you want to charge now or anything like any kind of hyperlink that says like contact us. Just click one of those links and you'll get yeah a pre-filled email basically because if says. you do reply to the thing then um anybody who does reply to it it all goes down and i'd say typically it's like up to like 20 or 30 people who will do that <laughs> um, and, and it'll be multiple times so sometimes it's like the same person who's kind of going back and forth on that email um but um but it just goes down 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 and um and there's there's no way for us to put that in your actual email file and um and it also just sometimes it just gets lost in the shuffle because it just does so okay let's get going yeah so that it's not crazy long okay so we have this adorable purse this adorable adorable purse and another thing is that we will be showing christmas items this round so that um because if we showed them oh. next month then it, they wouldn't get to you girls in time because we can't guarantee christmas delivery we're gonna try really hard but um so this way, at least you'll get, if you request Christmas items, you'll have them, you'll have them, you know, by the end of November. So when you start decorating for Christmas, you'll, yeah, I'm going to start decorating for Christmas on November 1st, but I don't think we're allowed to decorate our outside. I'm going to, I'm going to take a cue from our neighbors and if they start decorating mm -hmm. those, um, this is not vintage. It's Which not. Is it's oh, Talbot's, yeah. uh, ta Talbot's, Talbot's, it's still, still but super cute. It's a really, really cute bag. So Talbot's, yeah. but came across our, you know, we well, it came a in lot, a lot, a lot yeah. Of, yeah. So um, how do you read this? Is it like E-R-O or it's is it R-E-O? -E so E it should be the first name. O is the middle name. R it should be the last, last name. name. Yeah. So if anybody has but you know what? honestly, it see to me it just almost looks like a design. Yeah. But and you really you could read it anyway. Yeah. If you want. I don't know. But we but that came in a lot too. And it's really cheap. Okay. But um we know this one's gonna be popular. Now this one does have some of the pearls have fallen off and they are at the bottom of the 
purse. I'm not sure if that's. Can you see it? Uh, it's so it's it's but, an um, embroidered um yeah. and yeah on the inside and and you know it's like got butterflies. Mm -hmm. But um, it's really pretty. On little evenings, white sequined bag. And we know that this one's gonna be very popular too. Oof. Orange chain oh. purse. My brooch is a cat with a pumpkin, and that is for request. request. I'm not wearing anything for request today. God, I was like really lazy. I just couldn't find any bracelets that like went with this and earrings. Oh, you can't Sydney, really are you watching? Because oh, I, yeah, yeah. This is something that came in a Sydney lot, and so for those of you who aren't familiar, Sydney is um, a shopper, shopper mm -hmm. based out of Tennessee, and this came in one of her boxes, and it's all sequins and beads, um, which is my favorite. And then yeah. Sarah pulled it, and she was like, "Oh my God, you're gonna love what Sydney got." us and I tried it on and it fit me and so I said well this is mine keeping it. now which hasn't been happening recently I haven't been taking from the shop as often mm -hmm. as I as I have um I have a couple vintage necklaces and then I have the last of the dead stock necklaces that a lot of you have gotten some of these but this is the last of them and I want to Hopefully get them out of here with requests. Um, is, real quick, guys, this is like a plum in case you are having trouble seeing that. So this is, you know, vintage. It's a parrot in there, just in case you can't see. I love that necklace. I do too. It's really pretty. Last of the, well, no, we got home. This is green, deep green. Um, some cross necklaces, which, you know, these are just sometimes hard to send people because you don't, you don't know everybody's. Religious views and what they like. Did you show um, these? Not yet. I just want to let you go through the necklaces. Oh. After. I'll just do, I'll set it up. And so the rest of these are, are the dead stock that, um. And so some of you may have received yeah. items like this, but these are. Because we have multiples of um, most of these. We still have at least two left. So this is just like a dainty little silver and gold. Um, these heart necklaces, we have like blue and yellow. Um, we got a lot of these in, so I think definitely some of you have gotten mm -hmm. these. We got a lot of really these cute. in too. I think this is the last one of these. We have, I think, two or three of the arrow necklaces left. I think we have two or three of the flower these? necklaces. And even uh, the stones. I haven't shown okay. the stones. So for those of you who like natural stones, some of you may have received these. And so we've got, what color is that? It's like a silver and gray. That's the only silver one. Um, gold and very light pink. And then um, a gold and like charcoal. And then we have Quite a few of the butterfly necklaces still and then we have some of these which i just think of as like layering necklaces so this one is kind of a red or no this one's the orange ish peach and then we have a red and that one's you know, not quite as um was that it that so is these are some um 60s style totes so they have uh clasps right up here to make them smaller if you prefer, but let's say you need to carry more, they open up large. So this one is pink with butterflies. Um, orange florals, very vibrant, navy blue, red and white, and then brown, white and black geometric. And again, um, this is how they come. You can have them super yeah. These uh, are small, like new like or um okay do you want to show um, them gloves, I'll do gloves. so we have some long white gloves with some pearls we have these adorable ones and all of these are going to be you know on the on the smaller on the daintier side while Sarah's showing gloves, I'm going to show playing cards. Um, got these at an estate sale a little bit ago, and it seemed that you know many people were requesting playing cards. So black gloves with the little beaded 
set of two ducks, never been opened. So these have been opened. I have not checked to make sure that they're full decks, but uh, you know. Um, Are those puppies? No, they're owls. Why does it say man's best friend? Um, it, it, they might have been switched. Who knows? Or is an owl man's best friend yeah. in whatever decade these came from? Maybe. But they, those are owls. These are a little bit bigger. And these, yeah. Short each, white. Each Comer Betsy. Really it's like a, a boy and a girl. A shadow coming in. These are short white with detailing on the wrist. You might have seen this on our Instagram a little bit ago, Victorian woman, um, just a hanging frame, mm -hmm. tin. More detailing. A scent ball, you put your potpourri in there and hang it. Yeah. There are also these as a hat pin. Or a hat pin, yeah. Long white I mean, gloves. that's what this. Yeah, do you see the shadow? So that's the shadow on them, guys, it's not. Um, a tiara. Who doesn't love a good tiara? We had tiaras a little bit ago and they were quite popular, so. Um, clown, trinket dish. Okay, we're gonna get into some Christmas. I know this has something in it. It's something. Okay. A little Christmas trinket box what am i see is this the window here it's the window right here because you're getting a reflection on the window that's in front of us huh okay well Ooh. look key holder at how cute and then it hangs this is a runner Um, some handkerchiefs. These will come as a set. So you'll get all three. We need to make sure that these will fit into a box. A box. Yeah, but this is, you know, to hang. And then we have a tin for like cookies. Um, Christmas. Um, Christmas blouse. This says that finish. it's a size, a size six. Um, so um, uh, by Northern Isles. So that's a pretty modern, um, brand. So I would say this is going to fit a medium, but we will, but if you are a, a Marine, we don't have your measurements and you're interested, um, just make sure that you give us your bust measurement, um, uh, guys, not your, you know, small, medium, large, anything like that, or well, your bra size, not, yeah, not your bra size. Um, so like, like I might wear a, you know, a 38 B, but that's not like like a more of like a 39 or whatever. So um, just make sure you get a measuring tape and measure that, um, measure that bust, waist and hip. Um, there is a slight, so you can see a slight stain right there, but super cute sweater vest would fit a, a large, extra large. Um, all right. Now we're gonna get into some additional decor. We have these candle holders very cute um kittens by the fireplace um this is for a petite candle um rocking horse and also girls we will not be doing christmas requests next month so if you're wanting Christmas mm -hmm. stuff, this is the month to request them again because we can't deliver or we can't guarantee delivery mm -hmm. by Christmas. So Christmas requests will be this month, and then we will be having quite a few Christmas pre-made boxes, and we um will be doing a, an extremely limited run of the holiday boxes this mm -hmm. year. Yeah. So if that makes sense, you guys. Then you know because you. Even if we, even if we do charge nows in December, we all know that the, that the postal yeah. system is going to be bombarded with Christmas gifts. So, and that being said, if you're purchasing something for someone, if you're purchasing a subscription or purchasing a one time, we recommend getting that, you know, we recommend ordering that possibly this month and you just hanging on to it. Um, 
until you can give it to them. Uh, kitten in a basket and then kitten on the stream. Okay, this one you can see on the box. It's a little teddy bear. And then this one is a little mouse in a bathtub. Mice don't take baths. Yes, they do. I guess my thing takes um, this is a Christmas tree truck making its delivery. Um, this is similar to the first one that I saw, the little nut, um, uh, what is it called? Walnut? Walnut. Um, and then these are elves, elves inside them. So, I mean, I would say that that's a set. The Santa, the Santa and child sleeping and then this is called Little Frosty, Little Child Bundled Up. Um, what do we have here? Um, a little fireman bear. Bears aren't firemen. Where, where do people get these ideas? <laughs> Kittens and stockings, so cute. Oh, guys, you are going to love this creepy clown with a candy cane. Somebody embroidered that. If anybody's name is Carrie or, or Doris oh. or Alice, or if you love someone named Chris, then request these and they'll just be freebies because we've had these forever as Flair. And mm -hmm. um, a little bell mouse hanging from the from the present um did we did we just have one of these yeah, just oh one. so um a keepsake uh oh. christmas cup i forgot about those christmas oh yeah go down oh. um so this is a coca-cola cup um collector's cup with rudolph um and here we have a storage tin um and it says cows, so that's the brand, assorted dairy, butter, candy, toffees. Clearly there's nothing in there. But, um, so it's cute because it's like a milk canister, but um, it has Santa's reindeer on it. We do have these. So, so how many of those do, do we have 12 of those? I'm not sure, but we're gonna do them in sets of two, two. if you want more than so similar to how we did the mugs this past month, you get two in a set. Mm -hmm. Very cute, Holly. But if you have like a family of four and you're like, I really love those and I want four, you know, tell us. Yeah. Um, a, an angel figurine. Um, uh, I mean, this could be year round, guys. Uh, just a um, horse and carriage. I just realized that I have a ton of jewelry for requests for Christmas, but it's at home because I was making pre-made boxes. You know what? If if you're wanting, oh that stuff. Um, yeah, if you're wanting Christmas jewelry, put that in your request email. Um, I tell you what, what we'll do, we might, you know, I'll be able to take a picture of it, and we'll and put it up on Instagram. On Instagram for um, yeah. yeah, yeah. If you want to take a couple pictures, and then I'll put it up. Um, so this, the, uh, um. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, so they just hang like this yeah, as little and you put flowers, little flowers or pieces in there. Yeah. Hold on. Put your hand up. Why? Oh. Whenever somebody tells you to like stay still or do something again, you know that something's on you. So did anybody else just like when their parents had these display the horns just like blow into them? Because I did. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it because there's a pandemic going on. Um, okay, um, and then we have just a, um, like a display kind of plate so you can put cookies or a little cake on there. And then um, a cute little um, Christmas napkin, scarf, however you wanna do a, it. A lot of these things will be doubled up, so it's, um, it's not all. I don't feel like it's all just one good of, for one item. Yeah. Oh yeah. So if you guys, yeah, if you're um, loving the Christmas ornaments, we have a couple head scarves, and I'm just gonna show right here. So one, two, three, four, five, and those are just the long 
kind of thinner head scarves. There are a few scarves for yeah. my class. And I know I really just look for a lot of the travel scarves because I want to move those. But, um, so you might have seen some of these. Uh, in previous? Before, yeah. Previous closet clean outs. All right. Let's take this guy. Okay. Ooh, going for a trip in my favorite rocket ship. Name that tune. Okay. Um, oh, God, Karen. Okay. Beautiful. These are um, pheasants? pheasants or quail. If anybody. This is Paris. Paris. <laughs> um, so, sort of, I mean, there's cheetah print, but then also the chains and stirrups and it's kind of like a palm. Fun, fun. Uh, dragonflies, butterflies, flowers, and their names. <laughs> uh, tropical. Okay, let's see. Which one is this? Um, guys, help us out. Where? Um, Gibraltar? Wait, is this? Uh, I feel like we looked that up before now. I've forgotten. So these are seashells. Um, flat, nautical. like nautical, super colorful. This is the one that I felt like we couldn't feathers because it could be problematic. Oh, oh. the other side. It's just well, it's not. It's Indian oh. headdresses. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, this is New York, which I feel like we've shown this one, and nobody's no takers. We've got so many people that live there. Um. All right. Um. Where I? This is backwards. Is this France? Oh, the royal. Henley. Beautiful Henley. travel scarf. There is a little bit of discoloration right here, y'all. So there's just a wee bit of bleeding, but still a gorgeous scarf. This is a gingerbread. I think we showed this one last month. And when said it? You might have requested it, but maybe you requested more than. Yeah. So, anyways, we still have it. Um, this is a strong a Caribbean travel scarf. Um gorgeous i think this is paris maybe yes i believe this is a parisian scarf um another paris souvenir paris scarf 2000 um so it was a millennium scarf celebrating the millennium chains um this i would consider this like a western kind of scarf stirrups sure. Fish. fish. Thanks, purses. Mm hmm This is one that we couldn't quite figure out. Oh yeah. Um, so it definitely is like um Renaissance. Re yeah. Um scenes. Like a Jacobian and well, what that's what like Jacobian era. I love this scarf. Look at those vibrant polka dots. And this is just really pretty red and blue maroon. Another beautiful scarf. All right. What are we at with time? 30? Okay, so I guess we'll just see how fast we can do. All right, guys. We'll be right back. We're going to show you some clothes. We're back. All right. Um, so we're going to um, try to do measurements as quickly as possible. So, like, for a lot of things, it'll just be, like, the waist or the bust. And, again, if you're a Marie and you're requesting items and you're unsure about the sizing for you, include your measurements. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So this was actually donated to us by one of my husband's employees and it is absolutely beautiful. It is about a size, I mean, it can, you know, like a, a small medium. It's in amazing condition. Super, super, super super pretty. It's missing a couple little stones. It is gorgeous. Um, so this is going to be about a 36 bust. And honestly, all of these are going to be more like a small medium type situation, just so that it lays correctly. Oh, 
probably like a, you know, about a 34. on that top. 34, 35. So this dress is a 36 bust, 30 waist, and about a 38 hip. Um, for reference, Sarah and I are like, Sarah's like 5'8", I'm 5'9", Sarah's only 5'7". This is hitting me right at my ankles, just so that you guys are aware. Um, and that has a zipper down the back. This is a 36 bust. And this is going to be... Well, this is a, this is a size eight, so I would say probably um, it goes up to forty, right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and just measure real quick. This is a thirty-eight to forty bust with about a, a thirty um, thirty-two hit, uh, waist, and then so that's this probably this is somewhat open. So this is gonna be more of like a forty-two. This hits me right at the ankles, and this is gonna be I already forgot twenty-eight. 28 inch waist on the deep royal blue suit. Okay, I'm not gonna do measurements for this because these are somewhat open. This is going to be probably about a 38 to 40 bust. Cute polyester shirt. This is um, an open jacket, so um, lots of measurements here you guys so if you're just i'd say probably a standard large is medium yeah. large it's going to to work and you know you. what marie's i'm just going to go ahead and say i'm just going to click it's going to take forever to take measurements i know yeah so let's just just you have to send us your measurements or you know if we say it's kind of like a small medium and you want to risk it then you can risk it but the problem is that like there it's not going to be like an exchangeable type situation so definitely Send us your measurements. It just, um, yeah, just guys get a tape measure. Yeah, you know, take take those measurements. Just you know, always a good thing to yeah. have in your measure. I mean, because also every single company has a different sizing chart. Like if you're shopping online, right. you know, you you go to that sizing chart. If you're shopping on, you know, something different, then yeah, these are all going to be like a normal, probably like a modern six eight. And this is going to be about a large. I love this jacket. This is a great seventies. Darker than a burnt it's orange. Small, extra small. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna pop through these vests pretty quickly. Um, we've got a small blue jean vest, um, medium to large. Um, this one has got some beading detail on the front leaves. It's a maroon and cream with a black background. We've got a small plaid with just black back. This is kind of, um, this is a Christmas embroidered with stockings going to be good for a medium to large. You can see the tan back does have a tie. So you've got some room to play there. And then a floral embroidery. This is going to be for a medium to large and it does have a tie in the back. So you've got some room to play. This is going to be like a large, extra large. Again, it's a suit. is going to be small medium um it is super That's super fun cute. sea foam green yeah. and this is going to be an extra small oh this is a lily um pulitzer, pulitzer. yeah um it's an extra small well what is it in her yeah it's a two so it's tiny mm -hmm. but great condition yeah um so just a couple more this is a sweater vest Standard black. Um, it's going to be good for a um, standard medium. Um, this super fun um, autumnal. Uh, um, it does. It, oh, it is missing a button. Crap. Are you allowed to say crap? I'm allowed to say whatever I want. <laughs> it's our YouTube channel. We say it's not for kids. This is true. Because kids Wait, shouldn't no, be. we don't. Because yeah, we do. We do? We say it's not appropriate for kids. Because only because like. Well, we don't want it, like I mean well, yeah, well I, I mean we, we do have I think we do have some like 16 year olds I want to say be... if we say no because if we say that it's appropriate for kids comments are disabled oh that's smart so that's, that's what idea. it is um I can't remember it first Let's um see. and then we have another um another floral vest this one is is not embroidered it looks like it's that type but it is not um this is going to be for a large 
Um, no tie in the back, so that is a fixed. Okay, Oof. this is an adorable little suit. You can see the cute buttons. Got a flippy little skirt. And another brown suit that's A-line with an open jacket. All right, so we've got some jumpsuits. So um, we've got a um, cream top with black. Um, this one is rather long. This one hits me at the tippy top of my um, of my feet. And then we have another hounds tooth. This one is modern. This one's going. This one's going to be for about a large, medium to large. Um, and then this is a small. Um, and that has great legs. Yeah, this one, this is also a long one. This one hits me um, right at the top of my feet, and then it has the tie. Let me give you a close-up of that. There we go. Okay. Um, last suit, I think. And it's, you it's, know. God, you guys, it is in such yeah. great condition, is there? Yeah, okay, so it, mm -hmm. the skirt, I would say, would go past your knees. Yeah, it's gonna be okay, and then just a fun little casual, light, light, lightweight sweatshirt. A kind of nautical type, short sleeve, lightweight sweater. Oh, that would look so good with high-waisted jeans. I love this one. Man. And a super comfy cozy you guys um all right how about some more dresses this long purple one that hits me a little bit below my shins is going to be for a small also has the ruching on the uh sleeves i believe we showed this one last one so let's yeah. let's get some takers guys tis the season um some sequin poinsettias this one hits me right at the top of my feet it's going to be good for a large possibly an extra large and then this amazing um, 80s does like 30s, 40s style. Um, this one hits me right at the top of my feet. It's a powder blue. But take a look at the this lace detail right here on the um, hip. And then also here, oh, sorry, this dress is falling, but also here at the, um, at the bottom. And then also the cuffs. Okay. Oh, and it comes with a little tie. Okay, lots of red blouses. Most of these are going to be larges to extra larges. Like, we're talking, you know, I would say 38 to 45 mm -hmm. bust. And this one kind of reaches at the bottom. Oh, this, oh, this one too. And this one's going to be smaller. It's more like an extra small kind of a cropped type situation. And then it has a little cute tie in the back. Is anyone doing anything special for the holidays? Like, can you even do anything special for the holidays? Like, Sarah, Sarah Sarah's going away. Well, and we're going away family. because my parents don't. Like, we usually go to my parents mm -hmm. and also my in-laws, but nobody's you know, they're nervous to host. Yeah. Um, this will be mine and Joe's because Joe and I are going to have Thanksgiving um, alone at our house. And it's our, going to be our first year cooking Thanksgiving ever. He's so excited to like make his first turkey. We're actually picking up our Thanksgiving dinner on the way there from like Honey Baked Ham. Which is a very smart thing to do. Yeah, we're not much of a cook. Not very good at it. And also Does anyone have a like um a family recipe like what is your family mashed potato recipe or your family cornbread recipe or your family green bean recipe so and share below like let's share our recipes how fun if they're not family secrets anyway so i've got some long dresses this is a salmon goes to my um ankles 70s strappy dress zipper down the back a long, um, uh, like flutter yellow. This one hits me at the top of my feet. Um, just a really beautiful 70s dress. And then another, um, this one's brown and it has, you know, geometric um, 
a, a geometric pattern on the bottom um, hits me like right at the floor. So this is a long one. And everyone, these are gonna these are gonna fit smalls. Um, and when we were talking about, you know, trying to move items from Marie's, a lot of what we were talking about are these blouses that I'm showing right now. Mm -hmm. um, some of you Lorraine's um, have probably seen some of these before. And um, and I will, <sighs> sorry, <laughs> I, I love will, I love this um, top. Put out there that if you are a Marie and you are super into 70s style blouses, like, you know, Paisley, the high necks, um, weird colors, like if you're super into Paisley, something like that, and you don't see anything here, feel free in your request to say, I'm a, you know, 38 bust I love 70s surprise me mm. um which is so much because fun. you can see like the whole all of those are 70s all these are I mean like it's yeah like we 70s just seem to be yeah. there a little bit harder all of that. to um all of that <laughs> they just seem to be harder to move I love this top too I, too. I feel like it doesn't um not photograph but you know video well yeah but it's really pretty um okay these are some lounge dresses so when you're making thanksgiving um this one is going to be for a small um kind of like a tiki um tiki pattern um hits me right at my ankles floral um bright this one hits me below my knees it's going to be for a large um, we've got a red with these fun pockets. This one is going to, um, fit like a large, um, really cute magenta. This one hits me below my knees. It's going to fit a large. This vibrant green, it's going to fit a large, hits me below my shins. Um, this one bled a little bit, but that's okay. It's still really cute. And look at that embroidery with the stripes. This one's going to hit you or me below the knees. And then this is going to be for medium, small, a small, comfortably. And it's going to hit um, below the knees. More blouses. All right. This one does have a tie that goes around the waist. You can see the pearl buttons. Oh. It also has pearl buttons on the... Um, <laughs> I'm okay. Thanks for asking. For <laughs> She's constantly hurting herself. Oh, man. Like... It's fun for Christmas. All the time. Lots of stuff going on up there. Um, another that, you know, could be kind of Christmassy. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, can you imagine, like, a red or green sweater? Yeah. Would be very pretty. Let's oh, have polka, polka dots. Okay. Um, just some fancy dresses. We've got a pink one right here, 80s. It's going to fit a small. Hits me right below the knees. So there's a um, fun, very fun party dress. So we've got beads and sequins right here at the top. And then it has um, the ruching right here to meet um, a very flattering waist with um, similar beading and um, sequins. So look at the way that that cascades down. It's super comfortable. Um, yeah, just a really cool dress. Um, we I showed this one last one, yeah. last month. Um, it's got a velvet top. And again, this... Is this taffeta? No. Um, so it's going to okay. be a small, um, another great party dress, um, complete with the bow on the hip. Okay. Kind of just like a longer kind of boho type casual blouse. If you can see that collar. High neck, white. We're doing pretty good on time, I think. Yeah? Yeah. There's another Talbot. I wonder if we got just a bunch of stuff in a lot. Stuff in yeah, if you guys didn't know, we get our stuff from 
I mean, we get it from lots all over. all over, estate sales, you know, we go to a warehouse a couple times a month sometimes. Um, Which y'all are in for a treat because oh. we went to the warehouse yesterday and he had um, a ton of the wool skirts that everybody always wants and we got like 40 of them I think yeah and we're showing I don't know maybe like 10 yeah we're showing a handful of them today um and we'll talk more about that when yeah. it gets to be um okay so here we have a small to medium floral dress this one we showed last month it's got a lot of really fun pattern going on so as you can see there at the bottom it does have some stripes and um hits me below the knees it's going to be for again a small medium um love this 80s um meets 40s floral dress um super flattering it's got the elastic waist so we do have some room to play um it's going to be for a small um another small um some autumnal colors going on in there there is a tie in the back this one hits me at my shins let me see the bottom like hold it up so that they can actually see like the length of it oh yeah Oh, that's cute with the pocket. Um, mm -hmm. And so this one's similar to that 40s style. It does have pockets in the front. Um, and it hits me right below my knees. It's got a little bit of um, paisley mixed in there. Okay, tie neck, kind of a Peter Pan collar. Little 70s. 70s boho. It's kind of like the same style, but more of like a deep powdery blue. Green, this is gonna be like an extra large. Same, and a lot of our blouses that we have left also are the more extra large sizes. Sweet. It's kind of like a yellow. If you can't, if that's not resonating, mm -hmm. it's a light yellow. And a big bow tie. And that has looks like kind of like lilies on it, I think. But I'm not a botanist, so <gasps> I might be wrong. I almost failed horticulture in college, so I definitely am not a botanist. <laughs> I took horticulture because I thought it was going to be easy because science is my worst subject. I took horticulture too and I remember it being, I don't know. It, but it was difficult. Guys, if you're, yeah. if you're in school and you're thinking, wow, I'm going to take horticulture because it's going to be an easy A. It is not. It is not. It, it, that is not an easy job. I know I, it, it was, a, it was difficult. Well, it's learning a lot of stuff too, yeah. Well, and, and it, and it is, si it's si like uh, Sarah and I cannot, I could not. I like how you took me out of it at the last minute. What do you mean? You're like, Sarah and I couldn't, I well, couldn't. I could. <laughs> well, I, I, we both are not the best at keeping plants alive. And, and I, and, um, you know, you learn all about like what, what, you know, in different climates, like what plants, you know, thrive and things like that. And, and you just realize, oh God. Okay. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Um, so eighties, um, small to medium goes down past my knees. Um, we've got some, um, the elastic in the waist there. So we've got room to play, um, a blue jean, um, blue jean dress. This is going to be for a small hits me at my shins. Love those buttons flares out. Um, what a beautiful, beautiful style. And then this powder blue um, with elastic waist, it hits me um, just above my ankles. And it's gonna be for a medium. Okay, so we have maxi skirt. It's a teeny tiny waist. It's like a 24, 25 inch waist. Peacock colors. Mm -hmm. Blue with pockets. Super pretty swing skirt. This is another small waist, but great for Christmas. Maxi skirt. Is there some crushed velvet? Yeah, there's some velvet yeah. mixed in there. 
and another great for Christmas. Mm -hmm. With one of those cream colored blouses we showed you. Yeah. Um, this maroon floral dress with a pleated skirt is going to be great for a medium to large. Um, right here at the bottom, you can see we've got some mustard mixed into there and it hits me right at my shins. We have um, a polka dot. Um, this is going to be for a medium. It hits me right below my knees. And then another um, polka dot with a pleated skirt. This one's going to be great for a medium. Um, it hits me um, at my shins. There you go. So you can get a close up of that bottom. Very cute. These are actually um, shorts, culottes, whatever you want to. Culottes. I love Palazzo. them. Gaucho. It, yeah, gaucho. They're fun. All right. Red pencil skirt. Man, I should be wearing that right now. This would look great with my... It would. Do you want to go put it on? Um, do you want me to? I can try. Um, I don't think... I don't know if it'll fit yeah, my... I don't think it'll fit. Thanks, Sarah. Jeez, that's so embarrassing. And in front of everyone... I'm sorry. <laughs> But it's actually a good thing that, you know, uh, I, this is like a, I could belong to one of you. Like a faux velvet, you know, like, um, like a poly blend that is like velvet. What is that called? Velour. Velour. Is that corduroy? Is that corduroy? Yeah. yeah. This is going to be really large. And this is corduroy and that's really pretty. It's like deep maroon. More dresses, you guys. We've got a um, vibrant purple and green um, animal print with an elastic waist. This one's going to be great for a medium to large. Hits me at my shins. Then we have a green with red piping. Um, it's going to be good for a small to medium. Um, and then um, the you can see um, piping and the look at how great the bottom of the sleeves are. This is going to be, did I say, yeah, small to medium. It's going to hit me at my shins and then we have this nautical um actually it's not nautical i just thought it was um it's gonna be it's great for a medium look um this is sheer so you will need a slip with it we do have lots of slips so if that's something you are in need of just let us know um and it does come with a rope um rope belt there and that reminds me with belts sometimes the belts that we get in are so worn we cannot they're, 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 they're not usable. We try our hardest to find a belt that might match a dress um, or a skirt, but if for some reason- as long as you have like a black belt, a white belt, a gold belt, you're going to be good to go. Mm -hmm. um, but just yeah, know- Yeah, I would say the majority of the time when the belts come in, unless they're the tie belts, mm -hmm. um, they're really not good. But so many times too, the belts don't come in. Yes. With them. Um, so we're not just like hanging on to the belt. If you see belt loops, um, it's that sometimes the belts don't come with them um, or they're just irreparable. what you expect them at all. Well, so we're finally getting our house. So here, let's just show the bottom because there is just a little bit of, um, like, well, that's, well yeah, we, that's we, could, we could easily like cut that a little bit and make it yeah. neater, but just, but, um, well, yeah, we're having our, you know, our house flooded back in May and we're finally getting new floors and stuff and they're finishing up today. And I just want to make sure that I'm home before they leave so that I can just check. This one is really cute, but I do feel like, you know, the pleats are a little not awesome. So if that bothers you, then do not request it. Such a fun tropical. Yeah. And this one has pockets. Most of these have pockets, but this one does not have pockets. I'm a liar. That was the last one to have pockets. No. Uh. The, like the lines on this are great. Yeah, really 
Um, I know a lot of you are fans of mustard yellow. Here we have a small to possibly medium um, with pockets dress. Um, this one hits me at my shins. Um, and I said a small to medium. Um, then in just a very casual floral dress. Um, it does have pockets. It has a tie in the back. But this is going to um, fit a small. And then um, the beautiful autumnal um, uh, floral dress. This one hits me um, right at my knees and it's gonna be great for a, a medium. And then it has like, you know, a fun little skirt. If you stand back, you'll be able to show the whole thing without having to stand I don't, on your Oh, toes. I think because I wanted to show them yeah. like up close and then I just am standing there. That way you won't have to strain your little ankles. No. And fall, Karen's broken her foot. Like, I've only broken it once, oh. but I've, I've also broken my elbow. And then I had, a, has anybody had this happen to them where like you have a calf pop? So my calf popped back in January. Well, she was standing still. And I was standing before. still. And so basically they just, you know, uh, you know, said that it was just a strain from working 60 to 70 hours a week and being on my feet that whole time. This was a this was at her my other job. my other yeah. job when I, that that I was doing, which some of you know when I, I was doing a job there, and um, yeah, and it just popped, and I thought somebody had hit me in the back of my leg, and it, no, it just popped, and it bruised. It was so bad, I couldn't walk on it for like three weeks. And another crystal C type maxi skirt and that comes with a tie belt too and so we have um just a basic black kind of a baby doll dress this one's going to fit a um a medium to large um this one hits me right below the knees and then um I love that one yeah just a it's great so cute. this one's gonna fit an extra small um, you know, 70s dress it is sheer. This one hits me at my knees. And then um, another sheer dress. This one is going to um, fit a medium. This one hits me right below the knees. Those are just great colors. And then you can see um, the, the pleating has um, fallen just a bit, but still a beautiful, beautiful dress. Teeny tiny black skirt for somebody extra small petite. A Christmas skirt. Holly, and this will be an extra large to an extra extra large. It's like a nineties boho type situation. Same extra large to large. This is fun for Christmas too, but mm -hmm. same, large, extra large. Another kind of Christmassy patchwork. Silver, which we've shown before. I want to say this is modern, but I forget. It's by. I just know it's modern. Mm -hmm. if, I wonder if that fits me because I might steal it. It's fun. I've shown this one before too for somebody who loves patterns. Oh, that's okay. Um, powder blue floral sheer 70s dress. This one hits me below the knees. It's great for a medium. Um, we've shown styles like this before. Um, this is Susan, Susan Freese. Um, 80s dress. This is going to fit a medium to large elastic waist. Um, sir, can you help with the the bottom there? Because you can see, um, you know, there's some pleating in there, like like just really great um, detail here. And this is going to hit me um, at my shins. And then a fun pink party um, dress with a sequined collar and waist. This is going to fit a large, and this one hits me just below the knees. So this is kind of cowboy-esque, country, 
This is a little house on the prairie. A lot of you love those petite florals. This is yeah. a great 70s style. And this is just your basic khaki. That is not a stain, it's just a little fluff. But yeah, if you're looking for a basic, bam. Speaking of basic, here's just tan, um, tan polyester dress with a suede waist. This is going to fit a small, um, hits me right below my knees. Here we have a blue jean dress. Um, there are bet loops there. Um, this is going, this hits me um, just above my ankles. It's gonna be great for a small, possibly a medium. And here, um, kind of like a mustard yellow, um, great for a large. Hits me below my knees. Let me just give you a better close up. This is gonna be an extra, extra small. Teeny <gasps> tiny. You're giving that up for request? Yeah, we've put it up for request before. No, we haven't. Yeah, we have. You've refused. We definitely put it up when we first started. Maybe. So and the story we... behind this is that when Sarah lived in LA, we went to a um, vintage store and we each got dresses. I don't know where mine is. I think I might have given mine away to somebody as I mean, well. I don't know. I guess I probably should keep this for Jay. All right, never mind. No, I mean, I, no. no, it's up to you. No. You're right, I should keep it. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then this sweet little maxi dress. This is gonna be an extra small as well. And then we showed this one, this one's Ralph Lauren, but this is just beautiful for the holidays, mm -hmm. guys. And it, um, you know, it just looks like new. This is back, it has, comes with a tie as well. So we have this adorable olive green, um, extra small dress. Hits me above my knees. Oh, um, kind of like a tan black, um, uh, possibly a medium. Um, hits me probably a little bit below my knees. And then a peach kind of lounge dress with some pockets. It's gonna be for a large, extra large. Hits me below my knees. I think we showed this last month. It's a little Christmas jumper. Super fun. A little, you know, polka dot drop waist. Tie belt. Drop waist yellow. Ugh, I'm surprised that yeah. we still have this one. It just didn't, people requested it, but it didn't fit their it sizes. sizes. Yeah. Um, a little, it's like a, like an eyelet. Mm -hmm. The pencil skirt. Here we have um, a, a tan with white stripes and blue florals at the bottom. This one's going to be for a small, hits me below my knees. And then we have, um, I believe this is silk, yeah. Um, a blue and purple going to be um, for a small, hits me below my knees. And then, um, this uh, really beautiful green and it does come with this vest that does come off um as well as the belt um super open hip oh, and hits me too. below the knees i think we showed this one last month maybe yeah um this little 60s And dress a drop waist. It's gonna be a large, extra large. Throw some long pearls. Oh, some high heels. Mm -hmm. This is another one. It's gonna be a large. That I just love. Like it's, it's got that 40 yeah. style um, at the bottom. At the bottom there. Put a brooch up top. Comes with the belt. And it's gonna be an extra large, kind of like a shift dress. You can definitely put a belt around it if you decide to. 
like that better. Mm -hmm. Little 90s polka dot sunflower grunge oh. situation. Get on your Doc Martin. Oh my gosh, I was just boots. about to say that. I want to get some like fuzzy Doc Martin boots. Fuzzy Doc Martin. Yeah, the ones that have like the fuzziness inside. Oh. Yeah, I want to get those for the mountain. You're going to wear those all the time here. No, I want to get them for when we go because we're going yeah. and we're going to Lawrence in February. So oh, that's true. No, but I mean, they chilly, last forever, chilly. you know? And this has a fun little back as well. This is going to be a large. All right, um, blue and white tan striped dress, um, good for a small, hits me right below the knees. Um, this gorgeous purple sheer dress, it's going to be great for a medium to large, hits me at my shins. Um, and then we have um, velour red, this is going to be for an extra large. And this is going to hit me at my shins. Give me a close up of those buttons. This is going to be an extra small, small denim long dress. I love this dress too. I do too. You'll definitely have to wear a slip, but um, it's just really unique. This one is adorable, and that's going to be mm -hmm. probably a medium. And this is all one piece. Little house dress, probably an extra large. Large, little pattern. I think we showed this one last month. So maybe stars, and it goes all the way down, and that's going to be a medium large. Okay, a pink, pink corduroy. This is going to be for a small. It's got buttons going all the way down the front. Hits me at my shins. This adorable yellow um, with purple stripes, very, you know, 1930s on the boardwalk type style. Um, it's gonna be for a small. Buttons down the back. Um, hits me at my knees. And then we have a magenta and white geometric dress with a elastic waist. This is going to be for a sm small. It's me below my knees. Okay, white kind of like, it's like a zebra print that's on here in, you can kind of see, I think you can see this thing. That's good. Um, this is kind of like a nautical type look. Short sleeves. Got the little peplum. This is going to be an extra large, large, extra large. This has a tie belt, high neck. We've shown this one before. Um, this one is, it's hard to size because it really is kind of like a straight down type situation. Mm -hmm. um, and it's going to be a medium large. And we've shown this one before as well, but I think the pattern is just not everyone's cup of tea. But the colors really, are really the colors are beautiful, and the cut is great. Okay, right here we have a small dress, brown, um, with some florals. This is going to be, I think I just said, a small. Hits me right below my knees very comfy powder blue with pockets. It's going to be for a medium slit in the back. Um, oh, sorry, you want to show that? Can you, can they see that the front there with the, those kind of little darts right there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and then this hits me, um, at my shins. Then we have an autumnal floral. This one um, would be for a medium to large. There is a tie in the back, so we have some room to play. And those are faux pockets. I know you guys probably got excited, but those aren't real. And it is sheer. Okay, we've got a high neck red flare. Ooh. 
floral and actually this is the front this does have pockets this is one of my favorite styles of dresses i've gained a bit of weight in my bum but guys i'm telling you that that the floral that oh, it's very flattering waist. style yeah the floral is mm -hmm. red kind of a thinner material and wait there's a little bit of something something put your arm out We'll work on mm -hmm. it. We'll work on it. We'll see. We'll see if it'll be available or not. And sometimes that happens. If y'all didn't yeah. know, everything that comes to us gets washed. Mm -hmm. Sarah and I scan it prior to purchasing or prior to getting, but if we get stuff in lots, then we can't actually physically touch those items. Well, but and we stain it, but I mean, stain it, stuff, we wash it. Obviously. That's all stuff from behind the scenes. Like we, so these wool skirts that we're about to show you, they took some, they've taken some work. Like we are, you know going home and we're steaming and we're you know making these all look nice and cleaning them so a lot goes in behind the scenes we don't not everything that we get is ready to go home to you okay and just a note about the skirts so again Here, i'm gonna we give you a ton of these um these waists though so like if you see one that you love and um you know whatever again we have a lot of these in the back but I will say these waists, it's not going to, I don't think any are going to be above a 30. I would say a 32. Two, yeah. Yeah. I mean, so some of them are super small. Some of them are like the 24, 25, 26s. And then I think there are a lot of 28s. We and did some get 30s. some with elastic, which um, helps. There are a couple with elastic, which should be fine. But, um, but for the most part, if your waist is above a 32, these are not going to, um, so we are just going to show you yeah. and then you screenshot the ones that you like the most keep in mind so um we won't like the, all of them are gonna fall below your knee um they're all about the same length and we do you know try to take into consideration your height when you we, write we, to us but sometimes it's very difficult before to that i mean a lot of any any vintage clothing that i have i've had to i've had to hem it mm -hmm. i've had to do stuff to it you know, it is what it is. And when we first started, I used to do hemming because we only have like 10 subscribers and you know, I could do it. And obviously that's not, uh, that yeah, is not it's... a service that we can offer anymore. Um, but it is literally like 10 or $15 to get something hemmed sometimes, um, depending, I guess, probably on where you live. Um, and so if you love something to go and get it hemmed at your dry cleaners, it's not, I think you have to, yeah. yeah. This is really pretty in my custom This pockets. is one of my favorites. I almost tried it on last night as I was. A little pencil skirt. And this one is a little bit shorter. So, but anything that's shorter is gonna have that smaller waist too, that 23, 24, mm -hmm. 25 inch waist. Okay, and these are the last three that we are showing you. But keep in mind, as Sarah said, we got lots. We got lots. So that's the. This is the front of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the pleats in the back. And then this super fun one. I'm gonna show this really fast because this is super small. Um, oh, yes, yes, yes. I mean, this looks like this is like a child. There's dress. also a couple of things out here that I'm going to show because, yeah. Um, I mean, I don't even know. I mean, this is, if you have a child who is, I mean, it's really small. Um, I would say probably, I don't, you know, I don't know. Maybe it could fit a very petite adult. I don't think so. This would not fit my seven year old. But once she's eight or nine, it would probably fit. These are fun. I'm gonna show you this. Right there. Um, okay, so this one as well um, is very, very petite. Um, it's gonna fit an extra small, probably somebody who is around like five, five and under, um, possibly shorter. Um, and then the, this is just a great um, jean, um, jean ensemble, but they're shorts, but they give the illusion that they're, you know, it's a, that it's a short dress. This is going to be for a small. 
and then um just this gorgeous 60s long dress it's gonna be for um for medium small medium so this is a set it has the little you know coat and then the nightgown underneath this is the leopard print house coat. It does not have a belt that goes with it. <laughs> so bless you. Thanks. This is one that I had been holding on to forever. I think Sydney sent this months ago and I'm finally releasing it. It's really, <laughs> it's really, it's really pretty. Um, and this is another, oh, you know what? And I don't does think this that goes, go it doesn't here? go. No. I just, cause I, we were running out of hangers. Got um, it, okay. It doesn't go. Well, it's this yellow, um, cover uh, mm -hmm. the house coat it's itself. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, and you can have the nightgown underneath too because I think yeah. it'll be around the same thing. Um, so again, do, if you're a Marie, do not, don't like unskip. If you're a new Marie, don't subscribe thinking that you're definitely going to get clothing. Um, Again, we're going to be doing all of the Lorene requests first. If it's something that we know another Lorene would want, we're going to still set it aside for them. Oh, why do I look so big? Step up. But, um, there. Um, I look like a freaking giant. Um, but yeah, like we are trying to move things. And again, if you were a Marie or even a Lorene and, and you're like, you know, we have a ton of white blouses as well. Mm -hmm. The white blouses, a lot of them are high neck or they have a little bit of embroidery on them. Um, most of the ones that we have are a 38 to a 45 bust. It's like we can't move them. It's like we don't have anybody with that bust size who wants that style of blouse, the high neck. Mm -hmm. we, we do have button downs. They're just like plain button downs. Um, but um, we have a lot. And so if you're looking for something like that, and again, 70s blouses, um, or if you just want to be like, oh, I want, you know, I would love something like this or this or this. These are my measurements. Um, you know, if, if it's something kind of in that realm, like it's not the, the chances of, of you as a Marie getting, um, one of the, the wool skirts or getting any like kind of example. like a forties, fifties, sixties, you know, fit and flare dress, they are slim to none. Um, unless you happen to be like I feel like we have a couple of those dresses that are like teeny teeny tiny tiny waist or we have a couple that are um crazy patterns that people just don't like um but you know we we will obviously save those items for the Lorene's so again the things that we're trying to kind of move are more like blouses um uh, really crazy pattern skirts we have a lot of skirts that have some some you know crazy patterns on them mm -hmm. um we have a lot of these i'm gonna take all of these out really fast because that would be amazing so the white blouses that i just showed you guys we we literally i'm, I'm staring at like 30 white blouses and that tends to be the style that a lot of it a lot of come in so this style so you know. if you love this style with like the overlay and these we have these in smalls to extra extra large um, you know, so oh my gosh, you guys, so we're going to, it's going to be like an hour and a half. I know. Thanks for sticking with us. But, um, you know, and there are more of these, but we have a lot of these because this just, we do not have any girls that want, who want these because, you know, we used to, when we only had a couple subscribers, you know, we would only shop the sizes of the girls who we currently had and the styles of the girls who we currently have at this point we have so many that we need to just keep kind of everything in stock and again since we haven't taken on any new Lorene's for a few months or very few I mean I think it's been six months now that we've only taken on like maybe 10 mm -hmm. new Lorene's a month because um you know it's just the two of us right now and um so we just have a lot of backup of things that nobody has um it's not it's not in their style profile I'll just put these back because I have these all. And I know we, right we did here. this one month where we said, you know, if you're interested in something super kooky and crazy and you're up for anything every decade, no matter what, yeah, that's a lot of fun for us. Um, and you probably will get extras. And these if that's over, the case. like the, the ones 
that are kind of blousey. Um, you know, we have a lot of these that are in a lot of different colors. And, um, you know, again, if you just send us your measurements and we'll, you know, we'll, we'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, like I said, you know, we want to move the stuff, but I don't like, I don't want anyone subscribing or unskipping or just getting like really super excited about it and then getting very disappointed when you do not get clothing. Because so. it's similar to all the other requests that it's not first come yeah. first served. It's not guaranteed if we happen to have something that fits your style and, and all of that or, yeah. you know, you request it and nobody else wants it, no, no other Lorene's, yeah. then yes, and it's not a, um And it's not really a, a styling situation because we do charge more for the Lorene's because we take, it takes a long time to like look through the whole style profile, go through all their Pinterest, make sure that their measurements add up. Sometimes we have to email them to be like, this is like half an inch too small or this is half an inch too big. Are you okay with this? It, ta it takes a long time. Mm -hmm. um, so with the, with the Marie's, um, you know, it's not it, like, you know, we can't like, don't, don't say, oh, well, I, I really want any kind of clothing, but I only like the 40s and this is my Pinterest board and all that. Like it's, it needs to just no, be like a request. Like yeah. if you, if you want something um, that we haven't shown, just say, I like 70 style blouses that are orange and pink, or I like mm -hmm. 80s dresses that are only this. And we'll know pretty immediately if we have it or not. Yeah. Um, but blouse wise, like if you're wanting some blouses, the chances of us having something, especially if you are um, a little bit larger on top are pretty, pretty high. So, um, yeah. yeah. So again, first name, last name, November requests, screenshot all of the items. Mm -hmm. Um, I know that some of you do have issues with the screenshots. Um, it's definitely easier for the screenshots just because otherwise we're having to go back to the video and like pause it at every, um, every interval. Time. Um, yeah, please yeah. include the screenshots. Um, um, makes it a lot easier. And, um, and going back to Instagram, because we do everything, this is going to, I mean, make me sound stupid. Because, like, I don't actually go on Instagram on my computer. I only go on my phone. Yeah. But we do all the requests on the computer. So, like, if you are asking for Instagram stuff, but you're like, it's the third photo in Instagram on the bracelet. Like, that means I have to get out my phone and get on Instagram and scroll through everything. And um, it, it just takes a lot longer. Um, so, screenshots are definitely the best way to go mm -hmm. um, yeah. if you're wanting Christmassy. Oh, again, so I'm going to take that picture. So Christmas stuff will be posted mm -hmm. on um, on Instagram. Instagram. Um, and then um, we do have some pre-made boxes in the shop. We have add-on items in the shop. I think all of the add-on items will be posted by the third. By the third. Um, and actually, I think I'm just going to try to, because like, I, I like, I think I was talking to Karen about this, that I really, I like posting add-on items a little bit later so that the new girls kind of get their emails and understand what add-on items, add items are. Um, but um, I'd rather just get them in there so that if you girls are going to order them, we can go ahead and start packing up your boxes. So that's the other, um, just a reminder that if you want to, to do charge now, send it to, uh, to us before the fifth. I'm going to say mm -hmm. after the fifth, we aren't going to be able to guarantee um your box just because sarah is going on vacation so we're losing her hands and um um so by the fifth you guys let us know um, by the fifth and also your requests and your um add-on items need to be in at the same time um like you can't say charge now and then three days later send in your requests like do it all at the same time mm -hmm. because um yes we're gonna try to do and again we, we don't we don't always get to all of them and some of you say charge now you're like the first one to send us the email that says charge now and we're like oh man it was you know it's christy who wants us to charge now but we have this lot coming in in a week and it has this red dress and she's been asking for a red dress and so we don't charge you right away so um we charge you when your box we know, is yeah finished. when your box is is ready to go mm -hmm. um and and we we do for the next couple of weeks have different lots coming in so Mm -hmm. just know we we get to you girls as, we're as trying quickly, as we can um and i think i think that's it that's it um christmas pre-made boxes will start going into the shop um probably i mean definitely before um the whole black friday thing i'll probably mm -hmm. take the pictures and i'll post them while i'm at the beach house oh no wait where am i going i'm going to the mountains so i'm going to take the pictures and then post them while wait the what because well, I'm going, we're going to the beach, but then we're going to the mountains for Thanksgiving, and that's over like the 22nd, 23rd. Oh, 24th. that you're you can yeah. just send them to me. 
No, I don't mind. I'm gonna be I'm gonna have a hot spot in the car. It's like yes. an eight hour drive. That's true. Um, so yeah, so I'll do that. Then um and then I guess if they buy them on the first day, then you can ship them out right away. Yeah. But otherwise, um, any kind of Christmas pre-made boxes will be there by like, you know, December 1st, 2nd, mm -hmm. 3rd. And we will ship those out ASAP. Yeah. Um, and, so that, um, you know, yeah. they get to you guys. Um, and we did decide just for sanity's sake to, um, you know, last year we did the holiday boxes with the, um, the purse and brooches, brooches and all that. And we actually have a lot of holiday stuff thing, a lot of holiday stuff thanks to, um, some really amazing suppliers that we have. Um, but I do think it's going to be mainly the pre-made boxes. Um, if you want a surprise holiday box, um, we'll be putting like a couple up there, you know, but, um, but yeah. also if you're wanting to get a Redbird vintage box for a loved one, you can always order the one-time accessory mm -hmm. box and we will send you, if it's a gift or regardless, we always send you the purchaser an email saying, Hey, we can forward, you know, this questionnaire to the gift E or you can fill it out for them. So if you know that your mom or your daughter or your sister, you know, loves particular types of vintage, we're going to send you an email after you purchase your one time. Um, we, we, and then we wait probably about four days, um, until you respond after that, we're just like, okay, we're going to put together a box yeah. for you. Um, because we, our priority is getting specifics, but we we also want your box to be timely yeah. so and also just so in case you didn't see before this is for request the little kitty cat pumpkin broke okay um all right thanks for sticking with yeah. us guys and if we don't chat with you through email then happy thanksgiving if mm -hmm. you celebrate thanksgiving mm -hmm. and we hope that everyone is staying healthy and not going too crazy and that yeah. the next few weeks bring a little bit of peace yeah to the world let's yeah, especially here in the <laughs> States. It won't. <laughs> it's going to be quite the it's show. It's going to be great. <laughs> no it's matter gonna what, great. it's going to be great. I was supposed to go on a bachelorette party this month. Yeah, we were supposed to be in um, Sleepy, Hollow. Sleepy Hollow. I wanted a I wanted a haunted bachelorette party, and so I told Sarah, uh, you know, because all, all everyone that's in my wedding and then my friends mm -hmm. that are coming down are all in New York City. And so I was like, oh, well, let's go up to them because it's easier. And I was like, oh, let's go to Sleepy Hollow and do like a, an October bachelorette party. And we were like, that's just probably not the best idea right now. But we'll do it next October when I am married and it'll be a lot of fun mm -hmm. still. Yeah, but I have a little something planned for <gasps> Ooh, her, her would-be wedding day. Um, yeah, yeah. We're going out to dinner and getting super dressed up. Yeah. Which is November 21st is supposed to be our... So she was supposed to get married. So we were supposed to get married. And now it's May 22nd. Mm. We, is we, that official? Yeah. Yeah. Don't plan anything. <laughs> I, 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 I have not looked at... A, I have not looked at anything regarding a wedding since June. It's depressing. Yeah. Because I'm just like, I'm going to wait till January. And we're going to see what, what, you know... Well, and I heard that I think it's... Is it France that's going on lockdown again? We have some subscribers in France. Right. Can you let us know? But or I if you're just... Well, I just read it this morning. And but it's but what is bizarre and what is frustrating is that it's like they're closing bars and restaurants, mm. but their priority is keeping schools open. And that's how it is here. But I'm just like I don't underst I don't understand how how it's it's okay for me to go into Target or Walmart or anywhere I time. and I I just I don't it just it not, it doesn't make sense to me it really it really does not make sense to me but that's fine oh it's fine wow. it needs to we need to get it yeah figured out and wrapped up it's literally been going on plenty of time for people to understand what the frick is going on yeah like Sarah's gonna go on a rant I I'm just I'm press stop before she goes berserk online <laughs> but we are we are we're, we're you know we're cooped up I remember when it when we were first being told about it in February and, and that's when we were getting notifications about um 
so Joe sells wine at, you know, at the resorts the, and um, the hotels here in Orlando. And as soon, and so one of his biggest clients are conferences that come in, which bring in like, you know, 500 to a thousand people. And so when the hotels were telling us that these conferences were canceling back in February, we were like, huh. And I remember Sarah was, Sarah was the one that said, you know, Karen, you, you need to stock up on food and stock up on stuff because I just have a feeling. I just have a feeling. And I was like, you're crazy. <laughs> There's no way. She was. She no, was the one that I, this was, was right. back in like no, February. I was, this is why we didn't have any trouble with like toiletries and stuff. Cause I was just like, people are going to, people are going to start freaking out. They're going to start freaking out. And it was before they had closed the schools. And I had said, this, yes, this if was before they closed March. the schools, they're going to freak out. And so I went ahead and I ordered my supplies. But y'all, my supplies were like literally, Ryan was making fun of me because it was like toilet paper and paper towels and cleaning supplies. And then I ordered like an economy thing of like coffee and coffee creamer because I was like, what do I do if like, I'm not able to get coffee? But I was right. And she was right. And I was you like, know, there's I no mean, way. I know, I know humanity. <sighs> um, yeah. Again, I feel like we should probably stock up by November 1st as well because... Uh, yeah, our I, fe fellow Americans, guys. Um, so we love everyone, no matter what. <laughs> let that let, let that be be our stance on the world. Yeah, on the world, on the like, world. Yeah, the humanity can solve all the issues. We shouldn't yeah. have to rely on government to solve. Guys, the problems. Redbird people, Vintage 2024. The, the problems that people <laughs> want to solve are, for the most part. Like, not even problems that the government can even really... Like, just solve yeah. it yourself. Solve it yourself. These politicians took in... What was it? Like, $41 billion? It was either 41 or 14. I can't remember. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Even if it's $1 billion, and, and they're spending this on... <laughs> push like, the off button. They're spending it on friggin' Facebook ads? Like, have oh. you not made your decision yet? Do you know how many people, and I, I texted this to my husband, it was something like, it was like one week of the money raised could have given every single working teacher in America almost $2,000 of like a bump. Like if they had just spent that to like give back to America, which is what they should be doing. But they're not. They're spending it on like YouTube ads yeah. because they think that people haven't made up their minds. No. No, they've made up their minds, and it is a God waste forbid of money. Sarah becomes one of those people, you know, that they interview, you know, after um, <laughs> after like the debates and stuff, you know, and then and then you know the people are very, you know, they're well spoken and they're like, well, yeah, this is what I think and this is what I think, and then you have Sarah get on there and she's like, let me tell you, let me tell you how we can just make things. I don't even need. I don't need. Sarah's don't gonna need start to. crying. She's gonna I don't, start crying. I I need for people to just like look and see it's in yourself can i just you say can... something though that what that i'm uh so because i we brought this up a couple months ago when we started the redbird facebook group um and so for those of you who are not subscribers sorry we we do have a private facebook group for subscribers if you're not if you are a subscriber and you didn't know about this email us and we'll send you the link but one reason we started it is because our subscribers are so amazing and inclusive and supportive of, of one another and, um, and and whatnot. And so we're like, oh man, yes, we are fostering this amazing environment of people who love vintage and love sharing, you know, their styling and 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 all of that. And so thanks to all of you for being just a really positive, yeah. a positive force. Um, and so if we just all band together, we could, we could rule. I'm not on that Facebook group much. I think I posted one time. I think you posted I, one I time and it was Facebook. yesterday. I hate it. I don't, I don't yeah. post Facebook. I go on Facebook on to Instagram check the Redbird page me, and to check up, up on you guys. Um, now. But yeah, so thanks to you guys for being such a positive thing yeah. in, in what can, is a very chaotic time. So you provide us some solace. Okay. Do you feel good about yourself? Do you? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> um, okay, great. So send us your requests. <laughs>